Welcome to making a Stuart model steam plant part 90. Dismantling the steam plant to show how it fits together. Some of the piping runs are a complex shape. It becomes apparent that most of the components will have to be removed from the baseboard and shipped in three separate packages. The steam plant is going to California and I don't want it to arrive broken. And for that reason I'm going to take great pains with the packing process to avoid any damage to the parts when they're in transit. By using three packages it allows me to balance out the weight. When I pick up the steam plant the whole thing is surprisingly heavy so I couldn't send it in one unit. The parcel would be massive, extremely heavy and very expensive to ship. I want to talk about the gas jet. Here I'm fitting it in position in the Venturi. I'm going to include a clip from a previous video when I fitted this because it's very important to make sure that the gas jet goes back into the burner in exactly the same way as I fitted it originally. These Bix burners can be problematic if the gas pressure's too high or the gas jet isn't in the right place. Here's a clip from an earlier episode. You can see the Venturi which is the inlet to the gas burner and this is the gas jet. It's a number 12 gas jet and this should work well if it's in the correct position. In a previous episode in this series I tested the gas burner with this number 12 jet. The position of the jet in the Venturi tube is very critical. If you would like to see more details about setting up the gas burner, please re-watch episode 56 of this series. This is the support that I made for the gas pipe. I need to silver solder the threaded part onto the pipe. First though, I mark the position with a felt tip pen. I did this because I want the mounting bracket for the gas pipe to be level with the end of the base that I made for the hand pump. When the unit is dismantled, thanks to the felt tip pen mark, I know where to put it before I silver solder it. But first, something very, very important. I'm going to remove the gas jet. This is a number 12 gas jet, and the hole in the end of it is very small and easily blocked. If you don't remove the gas jet when you're silver soldering near to it, the products of combustion inside the pipe can find their way into the very small hole in the end of the jet. By products of combustion, I mean oxidised copper and the residue from the silver solar flux. Cleaning up the outside of the pipe is quite straightforward, but it's not so easy to clean the inside. Once all the piping has been completed, it will be put in my acid bath. When I do this, I will remove the gas jet for a second time. You may wonder what I'm doing at the moment. I've cut a piece of silver solder, and it has a sharp end. As I move this piece of silver solder in and out of the pipe, this should loosen any scale on the inside of the pipe and here I'm blowing it away with an airline. And now I don't think I'll have any initial problems with the gas jet blocking up. I'll make a felt tip pen mark on the gas jet and provided that's lined up with the Venturi it should be okay. The way I designed the boiler mounting I could actually leave it in place but I fear that it would get bent. Time to disconnect the piping I'm going to stop talking over this because it's a very simple, long and tedious job. Here's a pipe that goes from the pump's outlet to the check valve. And here's some music that I composed to accompany the video showing all the piping being removed. I created this music a while ago and it's called Waterside. All you need to do is sit back and relax, take your medication and watch the video. If you feel yourself slipping into a coma, get up and make a cup of coffee.
If you're still awake, I'd like to say, as I always do, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.